Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video showing you how I made a pineapple fruit smoothie bowl. It's super easy and all you need are fruits of your choice. I used frozen strawberries, frozen blueberries, an apple, a banana, and of course a pineapple. So to get started, just use a knife to cut your pineapple and then that'll create your bowl. I just cut basically right in the middle. Then you have your bowl. Next, use your knife to cut out the core and to take out some pieces of pineapple on the inside. I put the chunks of pineapple in a bowl on the side so that I could use them for later when I make my smoothie. Your pineapple bowl should start to look like this. It should have a majority of the pineapple gone from the inside. And once that is done, you can put it to the side and we can start making the smoothie. So I start off with the frozen blueberries and I put about a half a cup of blueberries inside of my blender. Then I add the strawberries. I ended up putting too many strawberries, so I just took some out. Then I take the pineapple that I took out of the bowl, add the juice and the chunks to the smoothie. And lastly, I go in with simply orange mango juice and add that to my smoothie as well. You can also add yogurt, but I didn't have any yogurt to add. So I went without it. Once you have all your ingredients inside of the blender, put the top on and we can start blending. This blender only has one setting, so that was the only setting that I was able to use. Once you have your smoothie all mixed and it's at the right consistency for you, bring back the pineapple bowl and start filling the bowl with the smoothie. So once you have your pineapple bowl filled with the smoothie, you're technically done. You could stop there if you want, but I'm gonna keep going. So I take my banana that's about to go bad and peel it and start cutting it. The cuts don't have to be perfect. Just cut it however you want. Then 
Then I take these fresh blueberries, rinse them. Then I cut an apple. And I'm gonna use those as toppings for the smoothie. <laughs> So this does not have to be perfect, just take your toppings and put them on the smoothie. Like it just makes it look even more delicious. It doesn't have to be in a certain pattern, you could just throw everything on there. Then grab a spoon and you're done. Like, it's so good. Super easy. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see next. So thank you. Bye.